Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I talk about the NWSL, women's soccer, just soccer, only soccer. In this video, I'll be discussing and reviewing the regular season match between the Orlando Pride and the Houston Dash. The Pride are coming off of a 2-4 loss against the Chicago Red Stars and a 2-2 draw against the Washington Spirit in what was a really, really big surprise. The Houston Dash in their last two matches are coming off of a 2-0 win against the Portland Thorns and a 1-1 draw against the North Carolina Courage. When it comes to the Pride, I think it's fair to say they have to be the most chaotic team right now in the NWSL. They earned that title. You, you just don't know what they're going to do. I had a feeling the Pride were going to struggle in the matches against the Red Stars and the Spirit, because both of these teams have a strong attack in midfield. A loss against the Red Stars didn't surprise me that much. Also, sorry I didn't do a video on that match. I was really tired and just had no energy that day. In the match against the Spirit, when the Pride went down by two, I figured that was it. The Spirit won it. The Pride did their best and that was that. What I didn't expect was the Pride coming back and getting two goals in freaking stoppage time and the match ending in a 2-2 draw. I don't know how to respond to that. Like, that was just awesome for the Pride. As for the Spirit, <laughs> that draw is on you guys. How do you let a team that's down by two come back and draw? Like, how do you allow that to happen? Did you not think after the first goal, I don't know, maybe we should defend better? <laughs> In this match against the Houston Dash, I can imagine it's going to be a challenging one for the Pride team. If the Pride want to win this one, defense is going to be essential. Maintaining possession, enforcing turnovers, and keeping up the attack is going to be key. The Red Stars and Spirit, strong attack in midfield, the same could be said when it comes to the Houston Dash. The Dash attack is going to hammer the Pride's defense and force the Pride to play defensively. That is if the Pride are letting them do that. The Pride midfield and attack should try to keep possession and be on the offense as much as possible as a way to relieve the back line and so the Pride won't be forced into a defensive position. Again, defense is essential but possession and attack is key for a pride victory or draw. That's okay too. I will allow for pride draws because it shows they're improving and getting better. I won't allow it for OL Reign though. <laughs> so let's get into the lineup for this match. All right, the lineup. Interesting um, lineup. I'm not entirely sure what the play formation is, and I'll get to that in a bit. We have McLeod in the goal for defenders, Abello, Montefusco, Presley, and Jans Dottier. This is kind of where I'm getting thrown off. Montefusco and Presley, yeah, they are defenders. Jans Dottier can play defensively when it's ne needed. Abello as a defender is surprising to me because I didn't know she could play as a defender, but that's cool if she's going to be a defender for tonight. In the midfield, we got Clough, Villacorta, and Listro, and for forwards, Pruitt, LaRue, and Jenkins. It's definitely going to be an interesting match tonight, especially with this back line. Midfield and attack look solid. I guess it's good that Jons Dortier is dropping back to defend because then we have a packed midfield with Clough, Villacorta, and Listro. When it comes to Jons Dortier, though, I feel as though she is going to help out in the attack her work, weight, her work rate is insane. It's going to be a fun one tonight, hopefully. It just seems as though there are more midfielders and attackers in the Pride lineup than there are defenders. I mean, I guess they're living up to the most chaotic team in the NWSL so far. Yeah, it's going to be something. Let's clutch our, let's clutch our fr Pride flags. <laughs> let's clutch our Pride flags and get into the first half. All right, the first half, we are off. One minute ball crossed into the pride box, kicked away by Johan Stottier. Defense, yeah, we need to do better. That was way too slow of a clearance. Four minutes, Dash Groom passes to Daly in the pride box. Daly misses it. McLeod catches. Again, slow clearance. There were defenders around Daly too. 
Like, trying not to be mean because we have players out of position, but geez. Five minutes, a bellow cross caught by Campbell. Good pressure from Clough. Seven minutes, ball in the pride box, kicked away. Dash attempt blocked. Daly with the ball, offsides. Eighth minute, Villacorta tries to send it into the dash box. Blocked. Defenders got... Defenders got to get back there to defend. There's only two of them in the pride box. Like, I know the pride want to press so bad because, like, they're midfielders and forwards. That's what they do. But when you have to defend, you have to get back there and defend. Nine minutes, Jans Dartier sends it in. LaRue header attempt goes wide. Good. Like, that was a good play. 11 minutes, ball sent into the dash box. Cleared times two. 12 minutes, ball sent towards the pride box. Prince, um, dash, Prince on it. Montefusco able to beat her to it. Good. 13 minutes, Schmidt attempt from distance goes wide. 15 minutes, ball sent towards the pride box. McLeod reclaims it. 16 minutes, Presley back passes to McLeod, but concedes a, a corner. Really? <laughs> 17 minutes, dash corner kick. LaRue heads it away. 18 minutes, not much happening at this point, just midfield action, ball being controlled in the midfield by both teams. 19 minutes, Prince with the ball in the pride box now. Montefusco able to get it away. And Abello finishes it off by kicking it, kicking it away. 20th minute, LaRue making a run cut off. 21 minutes, LaRue attempt saved. Ball crossed into the dash box, kicked away. 22 minutes, Prince crosses into the pride box. No one there. 23 minutes, Villacorta fouls daily. Dash free kick outside the pride box. Goes out of play. Dash crosses, headed away. 24 minutes, ball sent into the pride box, kicked away. Jans Dottier tries to play it up to Pruitt. Miscommunication, Pruitt fouls Chapman soon after. Dash ball. 26 minutes, Prince making a run after the ball. McLeod off her line. Prince scores. Abello unable to get on her. And... Prince able to send it in right between McLeod's legs. Dash 1-0. Again, Abello doesn't normally play as a defender. 28th minute, ball sent it towards the pride box, headed away. Villacorta, pay attention to who's around you. Dash player, Groom, comes up behind her and she doesn't notice. And Groom passes to Daly. Daly makes an attempt, but it goes over the crossbar. 29th minute, Pruitt fouls, pulls Chapman down, dash free kick. 31 minutes, ball sent into the pride box, caught by McLeod. 32 minutes, daily flying header, daily scores, dash 2-0. Honestly, it was a good goal from daily. Hopefully, she'll do that in the Euros for the England women's national team. Anyway, 33 minutes, cleft to LaRue. LaRue attempt goes wide, very close. 34 minutes, Pruitt offsides. Daly is down. No, bro, you have to go to England. Get up. <laughs> 36 minutes, Daly is back in. Game starts up again. 37 minutes, Listro fouls, I guess. Dash free kick, ball sent into the pride box, defended away. Abello really wants to press high, but she has to be careful. And remember that she is defending for this half. 38th minute, Prince gets around. Jans Dortier, Prince attempt, deflected off of Montefusco and into the goal. Is that an own goal? Um... Okay, so I went back and checked. No, it's Prince's goal. Dash, three, nil. 39 minutes, Grim attempt goes wide. I'm wondering if it would have been better to actually have the pride in a 3-5-2. <laughs> anyway, 41 minutes, Jenkins crosses. LaRue attempt caught by Campbell. LaRue arguing for a penalty because she may have been pulled down, not given. 43 minutes, daily crosses kicked away. Dash attempt from distance goes wide. Announcer... The Pride are really struggling. Yeah, no shit. Their back line is being played by players who don't usually play in the back line. 44th minute, Pride cross headed away. One minute of added time. 45 minutes, some crafty footwork in passing by the Pride. Jenkins to Pruitt. Pruitt attempt deflected goes to Campbell. 46 minutes, Prince making a run with the ball. She's now in the Pride box. Abello able to get in front and kick it away. Good defending from Abello. Then whistle blown, first half ends, pride, nil, three. Yeah, I feel like this was to be expected in a way. The pride back line consists of players who don't normally play in the back line. Abello and Jan Startier are usually up in the midfield in attack. 
I'm kind of wondering why Coach Cromwell didn't start Peterson. Like, maybe she's she wanted to rest her for a bit. But hopefully Peterson does come on in the second half to relieve some of that pressure in the back line. As for the Pride's attack, they've been okay. They're creating opportunities and finding openings. And I want to see more of that going into the second half. I want to see the Pride maintain possession and just really challenge and pressure the Houston back line. Let's get into the second half and see how the Pride does. All right, the second half, we are off. Pride starts off with a substitution. Jans Dottier and Presley out. Doyle and Peterson in. 48th minute, dash. Dangerous in the Pride box. Montefusco can't clear it. Prince scores. Dash, 4-0. Yeah, why didn't you clear that? Actually, more like, why did the Pride take so long to clear that? 51 minutes, Villacorta plays it up to Jenkins, headed away. Clough pressuring, like she really gets on people when she's pressuring them. Love Clough. Um, Dash making a run, kicked away. Peterson pressuring. 52 minutes, ball sent into the Pride box, headed away by Montefusco. 53 minutes, LaRue fouled, Pride ball. Grim fouls Clough, pride free kick, ball sent towards the dash box, scooped up by Campbell. 54 minutes, miscommunication between Pruitt and Jenkins. LaRue, low crosses kicked away. Why was no one there? LaRue crosses again, punched away by Campbell. 55 minutes, Peterson sends it in. LaRue attempt off the crossbar. LaRue attempt soon after, saved by Campbell. 56 minutes, a bellow attempt goes over. 57 minutes, Peterson all the way up to LaRue. LaRue attempt from distance goes wide. A bellow back in the midfield where she's comfortable. I kind of just realized that she moved up. <laughs> 58 minutes, Listro fouls. That was a stupid call, honestly. Listro and the dash player went down together. It was a small collision. Can't believe that was a foul. 59 minutes, dash free kick outside the pride box, dash header off the crossbar, dash attempt again, goes wide. 60th minute, good patience and footwork from Clough. Clough low cross, kicked away. 61 minutes, Jenkins fouls, dash ball. 62 minutes, yell card for Campbell for time wasting. 63 minutes, pride substitution, a bellow out, Strom in. 64 minutes, dash off sides, pride ball. Wondering if um, Cromwell did switch the play. It looks like there are three defenders in the Pride back line, and the midfield and attack have more control and have more possession. I mean, if she did switch up the play, it's kind of working so far. In terms of possession, I mean. <laughs> 66 minutes, Pruitt in the dash box with the ball kicked away. 67 minutes, Jenkins crosses LaRue, gets it back. Peterson cross, cleared. Prince making a run. Good block by Montefusco. Daily attempt goes wide. 68th minute, Strom fouled. Pride ball. 69th minute, Pride Pruitt or Strom cross cleared. 73 minutes, Jenkins making a run cut off. 74 minutes, 74 minutes, Pride defending. Really good. 75 minutes, Pride substitution. Pruitt and Clough out. James and Roberts in. 77 minutes, ball sent into the dash box, headed away. 78 minutes, Strom in the dash box. Where's her support? Strom attempt blocked. Peterson sends it in, kicked away. Pride really needs to do better at 1v1s and really pressure the dash into turning over the ball. Then Pride foul, dash ball. 80th minute, dash Alozi in the Pride box. Where are the other defenders? Alozi attempt goes wide. 82 minutes, Doyle fouled, Pride ball. Announcer Kaylin Kyle saying Pride needs to work on their defending. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Pride are aware of the fact that they have no other defenders right now. Also, I haven't forgotten what you said about O.L. Reigns, Alana Cook not being a world-class center back. 84th minute, Pride foul, dash free kick, ball sent into the Pride box, McLeod catches, can't hold on to it, but she was fouled. Announcer, look at Daly acting as a right back. Uh, dude, bro, <laughs> you know she's a defender for the England national team, right? Right? She defends alongside Millie Bright. She's not acting as a defender. <laughs> when technically she is a defender in a way. A six minutes, Alozi making a run, no defenders on her or around her. Alozi scores. Um, dash 5 nil. Yeah, I can't wait till we get our regular scheduled defenders back. 88 minutes, Doyle crosses, Strom attempt goes over. 
89th minute, James fouled, I think. Pride ball. LaRue making a run, kicked away. LaRue crosses, goes over everyone. Three minutes of added time. 90th minute, ball sent into the dash box, kicked away. 91 minutes, Doyle attempt goes over. 92 minutes, dash scores, but ruled offsides. 93 minutes, whistle blown. Second half ends, Pride loses, nil, five. Yeah, not a good match for the Pride, but honestly, it was going to be a tough one anyway, especially with our missing defenders. When you play players out of position, like making midfielders and forwards into defenders when they're not comfortable playing as a defender, they're going to struggle, and that's kind of what happened here tonight with Orlando Pride's defense. Yes, defense does need to be worked on a lot, but unlike the announcers, I'm more willing to take it easy on the Pride for tonight's game because there were players playing out of position and were missing players like Turner, Lawrence, and Celia. And Cromwell honestly had no choice but to put in players who are not used to being defenders. It was a rough game for the Pride, no doubt, but they had some good moments. Like they were attacking more in the second half, had more possession, they were creating opportunities, which was good. But a downside is they couldn't get past the Dash's defense and players just weren't committing to the attack and supporting each other. It could be because morale dropped after going down by five and that is very frustrating as a player and as a team. Like the Pride does have a good attack in midfield, but the players need to be on the same page, finishing needs work, and as I said earlier, they need to commit to the attack. Anyway, yeah, disappointing match. Not the best performance from the Pride this season. Hopefully things will get better later on as the season goes on. So the Orlando Pride's next season match is going to be Sunday, June 12th against the Chicago Red Stars. I'll have the schedule for the upcoming games next week out on Monday, June 6th at noon. So subscribe and be on the lookout for that. I'll also have it linked in the description below as well. That is all I have for you guys today or tonight. Go Orlando Pride, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later.